Okay, symptoms of PTSD, combat PTSD, and complex PTSD. I'm going to take my blood pressure right now. Ways to show yourself to document um, when you're having symptoms to know, hey, it's physical. Um, write a chart for pulse. Blood pressure, if you have it, if not just your pulse. Get um, a thermometer, one readable if you can. If not, get the strip. And the strip is also good for parts of your body. Say um, any any type of injury. Um, circulation was cut off say to your hand or your leg your body is going to remember that so if you have cold sensation in one area of your body to put a temperature on it do the opposite side see the difference body has muscle has memory fibromyalgia is the um, diagnosis for injured nerve endings and a lot of trauma we endure will come out to be fibromyalgia, which the um, normal medication for that is Lyrica, which I like it. So, okay, I just took my BP in. I'm 99, over 60, and 87 pulse rate. Now, I'm going to talk about something let me get into, usually if I talk about fighting, who did I fight? Oh, okay, I'm going to think of a couple of times I had to defend myself and I got in there and these people were coming after me and this is when I was big and I fought back and I kicked the shit out of them and I got down on the ground. I mean, here's hand-to-hand -hand combat veterans from Vietnam. I put down because I dated them. They thought they could get over on me. And I just went to town, and I went to town, and I went to town, and I'm just trying to keep this going so I can get a different reading for... Okay. So now you see it went up. 111 over 74 with 94. So, say I was going through a flashback. Well, that would even hike up because normally I have deadly low blood pressure. So if I go through um, a flashback where I was um, dying, my whole body will shut down. Seriously, my heart will stop and everything. I have to pound my chest, whatever. Um, if it's one where you're startled into shock, be it an explosive, something sexual, something not very good going on, the pulse rate and adrenaline is going to go sky high. So these are ways we can rate. If somebody was on top of you, say, and cutting off circulation, ligatured you somehow and cut off circulation, um, injury, the, the circulation was cut off, flashbacks go through your body. So it's a, also a way to say, okay, this is not happening to me now as a medical ailment. It's a reoccurring physical flashback that's going on. So it's a way to help you know, okay, always get checked. Always go to an ER or a doctor if symptoms are coming up. But no, it can be because even when I worked in the doctor's office, I would go through something and he was a Vietnam vet and I said, could this possibly be a symptom? But it feels like I have bronchitis and I just a whole bunch of stuff. And there was no bronchitis. It was a symptom. I felt real as could be. My, my um, throat was swollen, but not red. So everything was aligned, but without, without the... Um, the infections. So 
these are ways to, and also ways to say, look, you think I'm not going through anything right now. Look at my blood pressure. And then when you feel better later on, take it again and go see, look, my body's not lying. If you're not getting somebody um, believing you and if they don't believe after that, stop. It's you're you're knocking at a door that's not going to open and you don't need it open. You're the only one who needs to know. These are your detective tools for yourself. If somebody loves you enough to care enough, then then when you're not feeling good, they'll take it upon themselves to go get a thermometer, to go get the blood pressure ma uh, machine. To say, hon, you're not even aware, but you're going through symptoms. Because sometimes we don't know when we're going through them until after the fact. Then we can look back and go, ah, okay, now I see where I was. So I hope that helps and um, just tools of the trade, one at a time.